be ourselves. We have to be 100% authentically honest with ourselves and society. And the reason why I'm doing this video is to tell you that. You know, I've gone through a lot of stuff in my life that's really up and really down, but I know exactly uh, why, why I feel this way now. Because I'm a woman, hear me roar. You know, like people that don't understand that life throws your curveballs. I do. But now I'm living my authentic life and my authentic dream. People don't realize that, you know, how hard it is to be a trans woman you know, in society. I live in Lower Paxton Township, Dauphin County, PA, Colonial Park region, in Colonial Park area. There's a mall right next to my apartment, and everyone knows. It's called the Colonial Park Mall. You see? The mall. See? Me going to the mall. I'm just saying, wherever you live, you can be who you are. Authentically. Regardless of uh, gender identity or expression. Yes, it's hard sometimes. I agree with that. But at least I can be who I am, walking. It's finally a beautiful day here. You know, I'm going to enjoy it a little. I don't have any money, so all I can do is sell window, window shop. You know, I know it's kind of a tease, but sometimes you need a little distraction. So that's what I am. All right, this is like the Sears Auto. This is Sears right there. You know, this is where I am. Too, where I am. And like, at the end of the day, sorry for the, uh, at the end of the day, you know, we can be we are. You know, and just enjoy who we are as a people, you know. So, I'm outside. I'm in society, walking around, having a good day, or trying to. I live my life, and I have bipolar, schizoaffective, and PTSD. But at the end of the day, I'm a human. Hear me roar. People don't understand that. I'm a human. I'm a woman. I will always have been. It's just a freak of nature that didn't turn out that way with physically, but now I'm, in, I'm, I'm taking care of the physical aspect of my transition. I have psychologically transitioned years ago. I just get frustrated when my body doesn't match what my mind thinks it is. That's what gender incongruency means. My mind does not ma match my body, you know, at the end of the day, you know, that's what we have to understand. Trans women are women, hear us roar. Women, hear us roar and be, be loud. You know, that's all it is. And I'm walking in a mall where I live, happy, joyous, and free as much as I can. Unlimited income. You know, that's all I can say. We all have to understand, you know, what's going on with ourselves. As a human, as humans, as people. You know, and that's the way it is. So, I'm just saying, I'm walking into the mall, I'm going to shut off this, this, uh, this little uh, thing, this little video, and say, look it, be authentically yours, be fabulous anywhere you are, and I tried to be. I overcome this, uh, a mental disability on a daily basis, but I'm not, I'm trying to live my life authentically, honestly, and out in the public. Yeah, I'm public. I don't care. You know, I'm not afraid to interrupt America at all. You know? I'm totally not afraid.